Section 1 Introduction In this introductory section, we aim to discuss the advancements in the field of large language models, LLMs, specifically ChatGPT and its successor GPT-4, and their challenges. These models have outperformed their predecessors in numerous benchmarking tasks and datasets. However, the execution of a model the size of GPT-3, with more than 175 billion parameters, is a complex task, not feasible for most organizations, and even less so for individuals, mainly due to privacy concerns. Recognizing these limitations, researchers have focused on fine-tuning LLMs, specifically models within the range of 7 billion to 30 billion parameters. These models are fine-tuned using a variety of examples generated by ChatGPT or GPT-4. As a result, new LLMs have emerged, such as Alpaca and Vicuña, which are fine-tuned versions of the LLAMA model. These new models demonstrate comparable performance to ChatGPT in certain benchmarking tasks, but they struggle to generalize across a broad spectrum of tasks. Further investigation suggests that the data used for fine-tuning significantly influences task-specific performances. For example, we found that Flan T5, a model which is a fine-tuned version of the T5 model using the Flan Collection Instruction dataset, performs better than both Vicuña and Alpaca in tasks requiring robust reasoning and problem-solving abilities. This observation inspired us to try fine-tuning Vicuña using the Flan Mini Collection dataset, with the expectation of improving performance in reasoning-intensive tasks. Our first step was to create a manageable instruction dataset, of 1 million entries, sampled from the larger 15 million entry Flan collection. We combined this with various other datasets that included coding tasks and distilled conversations from ChatGPT and GPT-4. The result was a smaller dataset we called Flan Mini, which we formatted to match the conversational style of Vicuña. To maintain computational efficiency during the fine-tuning process, we integrated the LoRa adapter into Vicuña's Llama decoder transformer. After efficiently fine-tuning Vicuña on Flan Mini, we developed a new model, Flacuna. As anticipated, Flacuna outperformed Vicuña in most benchmark datasets, particularly in tasks that required reasoning. However, Flacuna's performance still fell short of Flan T5 in reasoning tasks. The smaller size and possibly less diverse nature of the Flan Mini dataset, which was 15 times smaller than the instruction dataset, might be contributing factors. In addition, Fully fine-tuning Vicuña could potentially bridge this performance gap with Flan T5. In summary, our work contributes to the field in the following ways. 1. We have enhanced Vicuña's problem-solving capabilities by efficiently fine-tuning it on Flan Mini. 2. We have introduced Flan Mini, a new instruction tuning dataset, consisting of a diverse range of tasks and templates. Section Summary Researchers have been fine-tuning smaller language models, LLMs, like Alpaca and Vicuña to achieve performance similar to larger models like ChatGPT. In this work, the authors fine-tune Vicuña on a smaller dataset called Flan Mini, which includes coding tasks and conversations from ChatGPT, GPT-4. The resulting model, Flacuna, outperforms Vicuña on most benchmark datasets, particularly for reasoning-intensive tasks, but still falls short of Flan T5. The authors suggest that the smaller instruction dataset used for fine-tuning may be a factor and propose further. Exploration to narrow the performance gap. Section 2 Training Details In Section 2, we discuss the details of training our model. We start by preparing a subset of the Flan collection, a dataset known for its massive size. Instead of using the entire dataset, we carefully handpick a part of it to work with. Our primary consideration is ensuring a broad range of task diversity while keeping the dataset size manageable. We provide a table that lists all the specific tasks we included from the Flan collection, each with their respective dataset sizes. We notice that the Flan collection, in its public version, lacks programming tasks. To address this, we supplement it with existing code datasets. The additional datasets include code contests, apps, and code search net. Following the Flan Collection's data processing procedures, we draw a set number of examples from each dataset. Each example is then augmented randomly with different prompt templates. These examples are put through a collection of manually designed prompt templates and can be used as examples with no prior knowledge, zero-shot examples, or gathered with demonstrations using a few examples, few-shot demonstrations. Our next focus is preserving the chatting capabilities of Vicuña. Vicuña is a model that has shown impressive conversation skills, reaching 90% of the performance of a model like ChatGPT. Seeing its potential as an open-source alternative to proprietary large-language models, LLMs, such as ChatGPT, it's essential for us to retain this ability in our model, which we call Flacuna. To do so, 
we integrate several chat GPT datasets, namely Alpaca, Code Alpaca, and Share GPT, into our Flan collection. Vicuña was originally fine-tuned using the Share GPT dataset, and we carry this into Flashuna's training using the final collected dataset. Regarding architecture, we fine-tune the Vicuña model on the Flan mini collection using a method known as LoRa, Low Rank Adapter. We place these low rank adapters on all query and value projection layers. This results in a total trainable parameter count of around 6.55 million. In terms of the original Vicuña model, which has 13 billion parameters, our parameter count represents only around 0.05% of that. To handle input, we set a maximum sequence length to 1280 and promote efficient training by using BF16 precision, a format that allows faster computation while maintaining a sufficient level of precision for our purposes. Section Summary We created a smaller subset of the Flan collection by selecting diverse tasks and augmenting it with existing code datasets. We maintained Vicuña's impressive chatting ability by incorporating chat GPT datasets into the Flan collection and fine-tuning it using the shared GPT dataset. For training, we used LoRa with low-rank adapters, resulting in a significantly smaller model with only 0.05% of the parameters of the original Vicuña model. Section Hyperparameter Details Let's discuss the technical details of the training process. We trained Flacuna using four A6000 GPUs, and this training lasted for one complete cycle, known as an epic. To manage our computational resources effectively, we used 16 steps of gradient accumulation and a per-device batch size of 2, which resulted in a total batch size of 128. For the learning process, we started with 3000 warm-up steps and set the learning rate to 2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now let's move on to the evaluation of Flashuna's problem-solving abilities. Instruct eval is our chosen method to assess these abilities in large language models. This method uses a variety of benchmarks that include real-world exams covering a multitude of subjects. These benchmarks challenge the model with intricate instructions, arithmetic problems, programming tasks, and causal reasoning tasks. A model needs to display a deep understanding of the world, exhibit multi-step reasoning, demonstrate creativity, and apply a wide range of cognitive skills to excel in these benchmarks. Our first measure, the Massive Multitask Language Understanding, MMLU, benchmark, tests the problem-solving skills and global knowledge of language models across various fields. This tool is unique in that it assesses models in zero-shot and few-shot scenarios, providing a more challenging and human-like evaluation. It covers a broad range of 57 subjects that include STEM, humanities, social sciences, and more. The tasks in this benchmark span from elementary to advanced professional levels, thus providing a well-rounded assessment of the model's understanding and problem-solving capabilities across different domains. We also used a subset of tasks called the Big Bench Hard, BBH. This subset consists of 23 very challenging tasks from the Big Bench benchmark, specifically chosen to push the current abilities of language models to their limits. These tasks present the model with complex instructions that demand advanced skills in areas such as navigation, logical deduction, and fallacy detection. Finally, we use the discrete reasoning over paragraphs, drop, task to measure the model's ability to comprehend and perform arithmetic operations. This task requires the system to carry out discrete reasoning over passages taken from Wikipedia. To excel in this task, the system must not only navigate references within a question and locate the relevant sections of the passage, but also perform discrete mathematical operations like addition, counting, or sorting. Section Summary The hyperparameter details of the Flacuna model include training on four GPUs for one epoch, using 16 gradient accumulation steps with a per-device batch size of 2, resulting in a total batch size of 128. The model also employed 3,000 warm-up steps and a learning rate of 2E5. Instruct eval and MMLU are benchmarks used to assess the problem-solving abilities and world knowledge of large language models. Instruct eval includes exams covering various topics, while MMLU offers evaluations in zero-shot and few-shot settings across 57 subjects. The BBH subset of Big Bench presents models with challenging tasks that require advanced skills in navigation, logical deduction, and fallacy detection. The drop task focuses on reading comprehension with a mathematical focus, requiring systems to engage in discrete reasoning and perform operations like addition and counting. Section, Programming. We're going to talk about various benchmarks and datasets that we use to evaluate how well large language models, which we've trained on code, are performing. Firstly, we use Human Eval, a benchmark that offers a set of 164 unique programming challenges. These problems span a variety of fields including language comprehension, algorithms, and basic mathematics. 
Some of them resemble the kind of questions you might face in a software interview. We judge models on the functional correctness of the code they produce, with doc strings guiding the standard for what's considered correct. Essentially, human eval allows us to measure a language model's problem-solving skills in a coding context. Next, we have the counterfactual reasoning assessment, CRAS, a benchmark that is specifically engineered to test a model's causal reasoning skills. It does this through the use of counterfactual scenarios, pushing the models to identify and choose the correct causal explanations. CRAS provides a specialized framework to evaluate these causal reasoning skills in language models. Now let's move on to alignment with human values. Instruct eval includes a benchmark we call helpful, honest, and harmless, HHH. It presents dialogues between humans and conversational assistants and challenges the model to figure out and deliver the most suitable response. It includes 61 samples related to honesty, 59 tied to helpfulness, and 58 associated with harmlessness, plus 43 unique examples from an other category. This other group is designed to cover values not explicitly linked to honesty, helpfulness, or harmlessness. Lastly, we have the writing experiments. For this, we use the impact dataset available in Instruct Eval. This comprehensive dataset includes 50 prompts categorized into four different types, informative, professional, argumentative, and creative. After that, we task chat GPT with scoring the model's responses based on relevance and coherence, rating them on a scale of 1 to 5. For additional details about this evaluation, we encourage readers to refer to the original source. Section Summary the programming section describes human eval, a benchmark designed to assess the performance of large language models trained on code. It consists of 164 programming problems that evaluate the model's comprehension, algorithms, and mathematics skills. The causality section introduces CRAS, a benchmark that tests the causal reasoning abilities of language models using counterfactual scenarios. Instruct eval, discussed in the alignment to human value section, incorporates the HHH benchmark to align language models with human values through dialogues. The Writing Experiments section explains the use of the impact dataset to evaluate the model's writing abilities in terms of relevance and coherence. Section. Comparative Baselines. We chose two systems, Vicuña and Stable Vicuña 1, as our main points of comparison. We then evaluated our system, Flacuna, using five different datasets from the Instruct Eval benchmark, which emphasizes problem-solving tasks. In four out of these five tasks, Flacuna managed to surpass Vicuña, improving average performance by 5.6 points when compared to the Llama backbone. However, Flacuna slightly underperformed in code-related problem-solving tasks found in the human eval dataset, by a margin of 0.6 points. On average, across all five tasks, Flacuna improved by 5.1 points compared to Vicuña. We also categorized one of the five datasets, named Drop, as a held-in dataset, which is part of our Flan collection that we use to train Flacuna. We noticed a significant performance increase of 11 points with this dataset when compared to Vicuña. The other datasets are considered held out. For a zero-shot performance evaluation, where the model receives no prior examples, we compared Flacuna with both Vicuña and Stable Vicuña. The results indicated a significant performance increase for Flacuna over the other models, likely due to the high-quality training Flacuna received on the Flan instruction dataset. We also assessed Flacuna using BBH's HHH evaluation dataset. Flacuna showed an impressive 11% improvement over Vicuña. This suggests that our collection of instruction datasets not only improves problem-solving skills but also positively impacts HHH performance. This matches our experience with Flan T5, which improved by 24.2% over its T5 backbone after fine-tuning on Flan. Flacuna mainly excels in problem-solving tasks, but we work to preserve the strong writing and conversational abilities of Vicuña. We added conversational datasets generated by GPT-4, such as GPT-4 Alpaca and Shared GPT, to our Flan mini collection. However, Flacuna did encounter some challenges in writing performance. In some instances, it produced code snippets for prompts that had no connection to coding. We believe this issue stems from a significant data imbalance, as the conversational dataset only makes up 8.2% of the entire dataset. We found that using certain prompts can help address these issues. For example, when given a template that mimics a chat between a user and an AI assistant, Flacuna provides responses of reasonable quality. This shows that with suitable prompts, we can enhance Flacuna's conversational performance. But when we closely examined the generated samples, it became clear that Flacuna is not superior to Vicuña as a writing assistant. 
This is further supported by the evaluation of the generated responses to the prompts in the impact dataset using ChatGPT. ChatGPT consistently ranks Vicuña's responses significantly higher than those of Flacuna. Flacuna's less than optimal performance in writing-based scenarios could be due to several factors. The lack of conversational datasets in Flan might be a contributing factor. Furthermore, efficient tuning methods like LoRa could potentially restrict the model's capacity to learn both problem-solving and general writing abilities. So, in the future, we might look into other efficient training methods for language learning models, LLMs. An example of the prompt and Flashuna's response is given below. Section Summary Flacuna, a model trained on the Flan instruction dataset, outperformed Vicuña in problem-solving tasks, with an average improvement of 5.6 points. However, it performed slightly worse on code-related tasks. In a zero-shot evaluation, Flacuna showed significant improvement over Vicuña, and in HHH evaluation, it exhibited an 11% improvement. While Flacuna excels in problem-solving, its writing performance is subpar compared to Vicuña, possibly due to data imbalance and parameter-efficient tuning methods. Section 4 Limitations and Future Work Chapter 4 Limitations and Prospects Despite the significant strides made by Flacuna when compared to Vicuña, we've observed certain challenges that require attention. Firstly, Flacuna often generates code snippets when asked for descriptive responses to prompts such as, provide reasons in support of or against reducing the legal drinking age. This may be due to an imperfect comprehension of the instructions or a propensity to produce unexpected results. Secondly, when it comes to problem-solving abilities, Flacuna lags notably behind Flan T5. Interestingly, in the realm of coding-related issues, Flashuna's performance falls short when stacked against both Llama and Vicuña. This is unexpected given the amount of coding problem-solving datasets that we've integrated into our instruction tuning process. Lastly, due to its training limitation with a maximum input sequence length of 1280, Flacuna struggles with longer input sequences. Looking towards the future, here are some potential steps we could take to address these challenges. Previous research suggests that LoRa performs better with larger models, such as ones with 30 billion or 65 billion parameters, and especially shines in task-specific situations. Hence, our future efforts might involve upgrading Flacuna by fully refining Vicuña, without LoRa, particularly with respect to the Flan dataset. We might also consider training Flacuna on a longer token length. We could enrich the training process by incorporating the original, extensive Flan collection, which is 15 times larger than the instruction dataset we used. Flan T5, having been trained on this voluminous collection, displayed impressive problem-solving prowess. Additionally, we could improve Flashuna's conversational or writing abilities by incorporating larger conversational datasets into Flan Mini, and subsequently training Flacuna on this. Section Summary The limitations and future work for Flacuna include its tendency to generate code snippets instead of descriptive answers, its inferior problem-solving abilities compared to Flan T5, its lower performance on coding-related problems compared to Llama and Vicuña, and its limited ability to comprehend longer input sequences due to a maximum input sequence length of 1280. To address these issues, future work could involve enhancing Flacuna by fully fine-tuning Vicuña without LoRa, training Flacuna on longer token length, incorporating the original Flan collection into the training process, and improving its chatting or writing performance by incorporating larger conversational datasets from Flan Mini.